This person is asking for more explanation on Lady Bird deeds. Parents in their 70s and 80s uh, still haven't done anything. Stubborn parents, not in the best health. Well, I'm sorry to hear about their health. And uh, unfortunately, being stubborn when it comes to estate planning is all too common, whether you're young, old, in good health, or not so good health. Kind of sounds like a marriage vow. Good health and not health. Anyway, I digress. So, Lady Bird deeds. The best way I can explain a ladybird deed is that they put a beneficiary on your real property. It can be your homestead, it can be non-homestead property. Anything with a deed can, at least in Florida and I believe four other states, utilize a ladybird deed. And all the ladybird deed says is that I retain my property at full control for the rest of my life. I can sell it, gift it, rent it, mortgage it, reverse mortgage it. I do not need my children or my beneficiaries permission to do anything I want with my property. If I want to change beneficiaries, I can just do a new ladybird deed on top of the old one and effectively change the beneficiaries of my real property. Now, the magic happens with the ladybird deed when you stop breathing. So you die. And in Florida, all we have to do is record your death certificate with the county, which costs a whopping $10. And then the county property appraiser will recognize that you have passed away and will automatically title or redeed the property in the name of your beneficiaries, therefore avoiding probate and avoiding creditor claims. And you, your beneficiaries get a step up in basis to fair market value on the date of death, which is kind of the only gift the IRS ever gives us. So it really is a wonderful tool for estate planning. It also works really well in the elder law space for Medicaid asset protection because Medicaid does not see a ladybird deed, also known as an enhanced life estate deed, as a present gift because the gift doesn't happen until after you die, in which case you won't be asking Medicaid to help pay for your care. However, be aware if you do a traditional life estate deed, the gift is actually given today to your beneficiaries with a reservation for you to be able to uh, occupy or possess the property for the rest of your life. That is very different. Medicaid sees that as a present gift and does penalize you for that if you need Medicaid benefits within five years of doing that traditional life estate deed. And your beneficiaries do not get a step up in basis on a traditional life estate deed. So make sure that you know your deeds. Make sure your attorney knows the difference. Many of them don't, and that's frightening. And if you have any questions and you're in Florida, call me. I'll be happy to explain them to you. Have a great day. Bye.